Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're going to look at how you can update the Navigraph scenery database in Little Nav Map. This only works if you've got a Navigraph subscription. Right? Remember, in the past videos, we looked at multiple things, from flight planning up to adding procedures, as well as fixing the flight plan. And that fixing the flight plan included deselecting this option to not use the Navigraph database. But what if you've got, I would say, a Navigraph subscription? You likely want to use the Navigraph features, right? You want to simply set it to select automatically, for example. So to do that, you will need to do a few things. First of all, you need to close down little nav map because if you're having it open while updating it, it might not work. And then you've got the Navigraph FMS data manager. And this one could or can be downloaded via navigraph.com slash downloads. And if you scroll a little bit down, right, you should first see charts and the Navigraph hub. Then you see the FMS data manager, which is used to update both Xplane, FSX, and Prepare 3D, but also a little nav map. Simply click the download button over here. And then uh, after the download has been completed, you can simply start it. Once you start it, it will prompt you to scan for solutions. If you press that, then it will automatically uh, detect a little nav map. As uh, it also did in my case, as you can see over here, right? So it says little nav map, and then you can do multiple things. So if you look at the uh, right side, it says, uh, okay, hey, this is the version it is, right? So it should be the correct version. It says it's a tool, uh, there's no backup possible, uh, and there's also no restore uh, possible. But I will simply say, hey, uh, update it. Then you will see this spinning wheel uh, turning around. It will re-download the Navigraph update. Uh, and then it says, okay, hey, back up the file. And then we need to wait uh, until it's ready. Back up file 100%. And then it will likely, I would say, uh, import the update. So now it's done, right? Because you can see the icon has been removed. Uh, you can also see that you can simply restore it. Uh, so what I observed is if you leave a uh, little nav open, it might say it has completed it, but it actually didn't do anything. Uh, so be aware of that. Now we did run this step, right? We can simply open a little nav map again, and hopefully it has updated our version of little nav map, or at least the RAC cycle of little nav map uh, to a newer version. Uh, so let's go to the top of the menu again. And then if we click scenery library, you can now see it's using RAC cycle 2408. Now this is of course all really nice, but it requires you to do this, I would say, every now and then when an RAC cycle uh, will be released. And as we know, it will be done on a very regular base. Uh, so make sure that uh, if you use a uh, Navigraph Hub, which is the other tool to update, for example, the RAC cycle in Flight Simulator, that you're also running the FMS data manager to make sure that a uh, little nav map has the latest and greatest RAC cycle, in this case, 2408. So here ends this video where we looked at how to update the RAC cycle from Little Nav Map using the FMS Manager from Navigraph. I hope you liked it. If you liked this video, then make sure that you're uh, clicking the like button. And also, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to be updated about new videos in which I'm posting. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video and happy flying.